NASA promised a global reveal, the first close look at a rare interstellar comet backed by nearly 20 observing spacecraft. Instead, viewers received only blurry, cropped fragments and repeated reassurances that it was just a comet. Why did the most monitored visitor in solar system history arrive beneath a veil of selective disclosure? The real story behind 3i Atlas begins where the images end. On November 19th, 2025, anticipation hung in the silence between each presenter introduction. NASA had promised a flood of new images from nearly 20 spacecraft, Hubble, JWST, Mars orbiters, and more. Instead, the screen cycled through a handful of faint, heavily cropped frames. Each image dissolved into the next, a washed out blur, a smudge barely brighter than the background, sometimes ringed with digital overlays or thick labels that obscured the view. The comet itself appeared as little more than a pale dot, stripped of context or detail. When viewers pressed for clarity, agency officials repeated a single line. It is just a comet. The phrase echoed across the broadcast, delivered each time with the same steady calm. As the minutes ticked by, the gap between the scale of the event and the meager visuals grew impossible to ignore. With every new reassurance, disappointment deepened, and the promise of a historic reveal faded into a haze of indistinct pixels. Interstellar objects are not routine visitors. In more than four centuries of telescopic astronomy, only three have ever been confirmed. Aumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, and now 3i Atlas. Each arrival has been a rare opportunity, drawing intense interest from scientists and the public alike. When Oumuamua was spotted, agencies moved quickly, releasing images and preliminary data even as debates raged over its true nature. Two years later, Borisov's passage brought a steady stream of high-resolution images from Hubble and ground-based telescopes often shared within days of capture. These events set a precedent. Raw data, even if imperfect, reached the public with remarkable speed. The scientific community, used to caution, still recognized the value of transparency when faced with something so rare. By the time 3i Atlas appeared, expectations were clear. Another interstellar traveler meant another chance for open discovery. The promise of nearly 20 spacecraft observing only heightened that sense of anticipation. Mission engineers pointed to the challenges of imaging a faint, fast-moving object from across millions of kilometers. Each instrument, from Mars's MassCam Z to Hubble and JWST, faced its own limits, including motion smear as the comet crossed the sky, signal-to-noise ratios barely above the background, and the need for careful calibration before any data could be trusted. Officials described a painstaking process, stacking exposures, compensating for drift, filtering out cosmic rays and aligning frames to the comet's shifting position. Every step they explained risked introducing artifacts or erasing subtle features. The images shown were described as early products, chosen for reliability over drama. NASA cited the importance of waiting for full calibration and cross-checks between teams before releasing sharper or more detailed visuals. The agency maintained that scientific integrity depended on patience, even if it meant holding back data until every pixel could be accounted for and every uncertainty quantified. Spectroscopy teams working behind the scenes had flagged a series of anomalies that, on any other day, would have dominated headlines. High-resolution scans hinted at a carbon dioxide abundance far above what is measured in solar system comets. Nickel lines, faint but persistent, appeared in preliminary spectra without the typical iron signatures that usually accompany them. For some, these readings suggested a history of chemical processing that did not match familiar comet models. Polarimetry groups logged a minimum polarization of minus 2.7% at a phase angle of just 7 degrees. That value sits outside the range seen in any known comet or asteroid hinting at dust grains with properties not found in local space. 
trajectory analysis, pieced together from weeks of astrometric tracking, pointed to a kinematic age exceeding 5 billion years, older than the Sun itself if the models hold. These findings were mentioned only in passing during the broadcast. They were bundled into a few sentences and quickly set aside. The scientists who gathered the data were left in the background, their results reduced to bullet points rather than questions worth exploring. The contrast between the quiet delivery and the magnitude of the data is striking. And what the camera showed was faint and cropped, what the instruments recorded was rich and strange. That selective disclosure and the broader silence around unshown data is the story that lingers. Within minutes of the live stream's end, frustration spilled onto social media. The hashtag show the data trended across platforms, gathering thousands of posts from viewers and amateur astronomers demanding access to the promised images. Reddit's space forums filled with side-by-side -side comparisons of NASA's cropped frames and sharper amateur captures fueling suspicion that more detailed data was being kept behind closed doors. Journalists from major science outlets sent direct inquiries to NASA's public affairs office pressing for raw frames and calibration logs from the 20 spacecraft involved. The response was uniform references to ongoing calibration, the need for scientific context, and assurances that more would be released in due course. Behind the scenes, a summary of NASA's November 12th media strategy leaked onto community forums. The document, though never authenticated, described a plan to avoid speculation, uh, and reinforced the line that it was just a comet, and deferred discussion of anomalies until peer review. In the absence of hard evidence, the public debate shifted from technical limitations to institutional motives, deepening the rift between agency communicators and a public convinced that something important was being withheld. Today, the sharpest images and the strangest data remain unseen. When cosmic visitors cross our sky, transparency isn't just science, it's trust. The universe keeps its secrets, should we? A tweet from Truth Poll points this out clearly. Hubble can capture incredibly detailed images of tiny asteroids millions of kilometers away. But when it comes to 3i Atlas, a so-called Manhattan-sized comet, NASA hasn't released anything remotely this clear. That contrast raises a real question. If we can image small space rocks in sharp detail, why is this object still so visually unclear? This tweet shows a side-by-side -side that feels hard to ignore. On the left, an amateur astronomer captures 3i Atlas with a visible tail and structure. On the right, the image attributed to a $70 billion space agency looks like a faint blur. The question almost asks itself, how is it that backyard equipment shows more detail than official space-grade imagery? NASA did exactly what everyone expected them to do, didn't answer any serious questions, left us with smudged and pixelated photos taken apparently by billions worth of telescopes. What a joke and insult to people's intelligence. Do you think NASA was being cautious or hiding something? What's your take?